Kat here for the second video on blogging with WordPress. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create our first blog post. We can do this one of two ways. We can go down to the menu item blog posts add or we can click on this little plus up the top right there. So do that and get ready for your first blog post where I'm going to explain all the basics of your dashboard, uh, how to add some media to your to your page and all that kind of stuff. So this is my first blog post. I've got a few bits of information I need to point out. First of all, the title. So Kat's first blog post. I'm sure you can come up with something more creative than that. Here is where the content of your post will go. If you don't know any code, then make sure that you're on the visual tab. If you do know some code, feel free to click on HTML and write the HTML code for it. But I would probably stick with visual for now. Add media is where you're going to go to add pictures or videos. Uh, we'll show you that in a moment. On the left, we've got the status. So if I hit publish, it will publish immediately. I can, if I want to, set it to schedule and post at a specific time. Tags and categories. So categories is for the broader groupings of your posts. Um, so I do a lot of travel blogging, so I might put my category as, as travel, but my tags might be something like Granada or Spain, which indicates where I am and it's more specific information about the particular post. You can set a featured image for your post so that if you share it through to social media or uh, you have multiple pictures and if people see a snippet that the featured image is what they see. Sharing will allow it to auto publish to a particular platform. So um, my travel blog is connected to Twitter. So as soon as I publish a post, it'll pop up on my Twitter feed saying, Kat's just published a new post and it will give you a snippet and the featured image. I can set my geolocation if I want to. Um, I can set an excerpt or advanced settings. I pretty much only use the status. So I schedule things. I use tags and categories. Uh, most of the time I, I let the featured image just pick whatever out of my post um, and I do use sharing. Okay, so within here, we have some tools that we can use. So we can make our text bold. We can use it italic, strike through. We can use dot point lists, numbered lists, block quotes. We can put in horizontal lines. We can text, use text alignment. We can add and remove links, uh, more tags, proofread it, full screen, or we can toggle the toolbar. This used to be called the kitchen sink, uh, which I really like. If I click on that, I get multiple other options that I can use. One of the ones I use the most is this one here. So it allows me to use a pre-formatted style of text. So I add in default headings. Um, in HTML, we use heading one for main headings, heading two for subheadings and so on. And all body text is always paragraph. So I use this one a lot. Um, you can also change text color with that one. They're pretty much the ones I use. So let's start off with um, a little bit of text. Okay, so I would like you to have a main heading, a subheading, and body text under each. So quickly whiz through and do that for me. Okay, so I've got some text there. <clears throat> So first of all, summer 2015 is kind of the, the main heading there. So I'm going to set that one to heading one. So in the summer of 2015, I went to the USA to study STEM and education. I had the opportunity to learn loads and meet heaps of new people. Not very exciting um, for this blog post. But anyway, that's a bit of a summary of what I did in the summer of 2015. Um, during that time, I had a little study break. So I was in the US studying for two months. Um, and in that time I had breaks between some courses and so it's part of summer 2015 it's a subheading so I'm going to make it heading two. During my two months of study I had the opportunity to do some personal travel. I did make it to Wichita in Kansas so I know some of you watching this video are from Wichita, Kansas and you study at WSU with Mark Vermillion so big shout out to all of you guys. Um, I got to see some of the sites in Wichita and it was really beautiful, warm temperatures, which was fantastic and exactly what I needed. Um, so actually, I would quite like to share a picture that I took. 
and I'm going to put that underneath that little block text and I'm going to click add media. I'm just going to go to my finder so that I can drag and drop that picture. So I've got a picture of the lake in El Dorado or El Dorado National Park. It was a beautiful sunny day. Let's just upload that one. Okay, so my uh, image has uploaded. There's some information about the image on the right there. The URL is where that image is stored. The title of the picture, I might call it El Dorado Lake. Excuse me if that's actually technically incorrect, I'm not sure. The caption, if I would like a caption below the image. I personally don't like the caption, but some people do. The alternate text is for um, people who are visually impaired. If they're viewing the website through a screen reader, this is the text that they will see. So it's a photo of El Dorado Lake in Kansas. Um, I can provide a description if I like. Um, now there's some settings at the bottom there that are important. Um, I use the alignment, so do I want it to the left of the text, center or right? I'm going to put this one in the center. And then I can specify the size. So do I want it as a thumbnail, medium size, large size or full size? I almost never use full size. Um, I tend to use large when I center a picture. Otherwise, I generally use medium. So I'm going to use large on this one and I'm going to insert it into my post. And there it is down the bottom. Nice, pretty picture. Okay, um, I might actually like to put, just so I can show you how, an, a different way to insert a picture, I'm going to put a picture of the US flag um, next to the text in this first little block. So I'm going to click here and hit add media. And this time I'm going to insert it from a URL. So I'm going to find on Google Images a picture of the US flag. I'm going to grab the URL, so up in the address bar, um, select that text, or you can right click on the image and say copy image URL. Go back to your post and paste that in. Set your alignment, your caption, your alt text, all that kind of jazz. I'm going to hit right there and insert it into my post. It is a pretty big picture and I don't want it that big. So I'm going to manually resize it and this way it should end up next to the text. One thing you need to be aware of is it won't, that alignment will not span over multiple paragraphs. So I will end up with a bit of a bit of a gap here. Okay. So if I now want to see what my post looks like, I can just hit preview. It will open it up in a new tab and it will give you, me a preview of my post. So this is on the front page, Cat's First blog post, summer 2015, some text, my picture, study break, some text and another picture. Okay, so I'm just going to close that and go back to my draft. <clears throat> I'm going to make this picture, I'm going to move it around a little bit, I'm not going to drag it so it's actually next to the heading and the paragraph. And I might make it just a little bit smaller because it's looking a bit, bit bizarre. Um, I'm going to save my draft and I can continue working. Um, not that it relates to this blog post, but something else that's worth seeing how to do. I'm just going to create a new um, paragraph here and show you how to embed videos into your post. So I'm going to make that a little, let's make it heading two. Sorry, I know it's completely unrelated to the rest of the text. Um, and here what I would do is I make sure I go and find my video. So I'm going to my own YouTube channel here, Cat Computer Teacher. I'm going to scroll down and a useful post that you might like to use at another point in time is how to embed a Google map into your blog post. So click on that one. Scroll down and what we want to find is share and you want to grab the URL again. So copy that link, go back to your post, hit add media, 
insert from URL, paste that one in, and you get this funny little embed code. Let's just preview and see what it actually looks like. So I get the video here playable within my post. Um, you can access the uh, you can access the video directly as well if you want. Okay, so I'm just back at my draft here. Let's say I would like to change the color of this text. I'm going to highlight it, make it blue. By the way, I think this is going to look ugly. I'm just quickly demonstrating. I'm going to make that text red. Um, I might spell check my work. No errors were found. Um, maybe just to demonstrate quickly, I want to know, I want to provide people the opportunity to know what STEM is. So I'm going to actually create a link from that one. So I'm just going to go to, in another tab, I'm just going to go to Google and find a definition. It's not necessarily the best link uh, that I could have found, but I've found one um, that explains what is STEM education. So go up to the address bar, I know you can't see mine, but go up to the address bar, copy the address, and then go across to your blog post. Make sure you've got the bit highlighted that you want to be the link, then click on this little link button and paste in the URL, and this now becomes a link. So I'm going to preview my post again. And it's a little bit hard to see with this particular theme. The link colors aren't particularly obvious, but there, if I hover over it, it's a link. So I can click on that and it would open up in a new page, I believe, in a new tab. Okay, so I've shown you now how to create some text, how to set the different heading styles, how to add links, how to add images um, that you upload, images that you are using the URL and also embedding YouTube videos. Um, also, if you want to learn how to embed uh, Google Maps, then please um, watch the video that I linked to. Um, I will just quickly say the link of an image that is already existing on the web, if that's not your image, then it's actually not a very polite thing to do. It's called a hot link, and it means that you're hogging the server space of somebody else to use their picture. So typically, if you're going to use the picture from the web, then I suggest you download it to your computer, upload it to your blog, but then make sure that if you go in and edit, in the advanced options, make sure that you actually link it to the existing file. Okay, so provide people the link for where you got the image, but don't actually use the image that's online. It's, um, yeah, not super polite. Um, okay, so the next post, oh, obviously, if we want this online, we're now going to hit publish. You just published a post on Kat's blog about blogging with WordPress. Yay! View post. So it's going to take me to my blog. So we've got the heading, the tagline that we set up earlier, the first blog post, which we know is ugly but demonstrates a number of things. We've got the about page that we also set up earlier. And that is our first post. So next video is going to be about creating pages. Stay tuned.